Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hello, my name is Amanda. Welcome back to day seven of Vlogmas. Today we are going to be doing a gift guide video. This was super requested and I've been seeing a bunch of them around YouTube and stuff and I didn't watch any of those videos specifically so I can kind of curate maybe like a new list of ideas just in case you guys have watched any other ones. I wanted to make my own list but I did reach out to you guys I asked you if you had any like gifts that you were giving to your family friends significant others that you guys thought were fantastic gifts and so I wrote down everything that you guys sent in and I am going to be sharing with you my compiled gift guide list for anyone that you could think of I am going to put timestamps down in the description box if you guys do not want to watch through all of this, if you're just looking for your boyfriend, your mom, your dad, your siblings, your whatever. But there are definitely a few things in here that like might be on mom's list that like might fit for dad too and I'll say that as well. So just a heads up. I don't know if my ring's on, who am I? We're better, I do this all the time. Also, if there is something that you guys are giving out or something you think would be a great gift, Drop it down in the comments below if I didn't mention it. Help the lovely little fam out. I'm really terrified that all my neighbors are watching me film this in front of my window, but it's golden hour and so I thought I had to. I haven't figured out where I wanna film in this new space yet, so this is probably not gonna remain it, but for right now. This is it. Obviously it's a little late for this, but what I really recommend is kind of keeping a going list at all times for like each person on what to get them for a gift. So like if you're hanging out with someone, they're like, oh I, oh, I really want one of these, or oh, I've always wanted the, or blah, blah, blah. Write it down in your notes, and then when a time comes where you need to get a gift for them, you have it, and like, I feel like it's extra special because you know it might have been a random time where they just like said something quick but like they're gonna be like oh my god you remember like you paid attention you listened whatever so really helpful i feel like it's a little late for christmas now but just a little tip if you have the opportunity to do that i feel like it's super helpful and then they are all happy about it because like you paid attention you know we're gonna go into google docs first we're gonna start with boyfriend and so this Half of the list was curated by my boyfriend. He was like, okay, I'm gonna send you a bomb list that someone can give their boyfriend. So, half this list is curated by Evan. Shout out Evan. There's a little bit of everything on here. There's some inexpensive gifts. There's some more expensive gifts if you're looking for something like big. So, a little bit of something for everyone. The first thing he wrote on here is the Pro Razo. Pro Razo pre-shave cream for sensitive skin. He said it's great for pre-shaving. He has struggled in the past with like, you know, like not even like ingrown hairs, but like your face getting all like n unhappy from shaving it. I can only imagine how irritating that is. So he has been loving this stuff and he, I haven't heard him complaining as much about like shave, like after he shaved. So give it a shot. Next, he tagged a nice long phone charger cable. I don't know about you guys, but I literally, if my phone charger is shorter than six feet, I don't want it. It's literally useless in my book. No, I get the 10 foot or nothing. So um, we'll have to see if he tagged the 10 foot one on here. Might be six feet, which is okay, but it's 10 feet or bust for me. He tagged a six foot one. I'm gonna need to add a 10 foot one down there because it's the only way to do it. It's the only way to do it. The next thing that he linked for me is this Gayum. Why did he pick everything that I cannot pronounce? This Gayum Restore Muscle Therapy Foam. Oh, this has to be his foam roller that he literally uses every single day. Yes. Okay. So. Evan, for as long as we have been dating, has been in love with foam rollers. Like it's kind of a little competition me and the foam roller have going, like which does he love more? Uh, right now the foam roller is probably winning, I would have to say. So, unfortunately. But he recently got a new one and he 
loves this one like literally loves it and i kind of love it too because it's kind of like marvelly and pretty looking so i'm all for this one you can get different lengths of them at different colors um you can get different like textures if that makes sense you can get like ones that are ribbed um to like work out your muscles or i don't know they are fantastic especially if like you have a really sore back or something you want to roll out your back it like helps crack your back realign it like mm, they are they are great Ladies, you could get these too. I feel like they're really great for people that do exercise, work out, whatever, but I mean, everyone gets a sore back now and then, so. The next thing on Evan's list is this simple modern classic insulated tumbler with a straw. He also has this and absolutely loves it, like literally uses it every day. This is starting to be the bane of my existence because it's left everywhere and it's always left with liquids in it and ice. The cup keeps it so insulated that there's always ice in it. So I don't know if he literally got this like two days ago in the cup and it's sitting there on the counter with ice still in it or if he just did it. So, but like at least it's doing its job, okay? Like there's also a bunch of different colors, patterns. He has the black one. It's also a really good deal. It's like $20.99 and if you guys know, anything about hydro flasks. I feel like it does the exact same thing as my hydro flask and it's a fraction of the price. So do with that what you will. The next thing that he tagged are the Apple AirPods, of course, with the wireless charging case. Evan and I both use our AirPods every single day. Like I didn't think that I needed them. I didn't have them for the longest time. I'm the last person I know to get them. Both of my parents had AirPods before I did and Evan got them for me. I need the pro ones, of course, because would it be me if I didn't need the more bougie ones? No, but regular earphones have never fit in my ears. I have really small ears. I mean, they look like average size, but I don't know. The whole, it don't fit it. So I need the squishy ends and I'm in love with them. I use them literally every day. I don't know how I lived without them up until now. He also tagged his new favorite Lululemon shorts. He says, the best shorts, expensive but worth it. Sits right above the knees but not too high. Ladies, gents, they look nice. Get your man a pair, okay? The next are the Mini Tonka men's pile lined hard sole slipper. He also just got these and he wears them literally every day. He is such a slipper guy, like all winter long he wears these slippers and he kind of trashed his last pair so he just got a new pair and he absolutely loves them they're super cute get yourself a pig get your man a pig get your girlfriend a pig get everyone a pair so that is the end of evan's list but now i have a few other things here that you guys submitted so i just want to share them because i think they're all great ideas and like i said i feel like everyone is so different so me sharing as many different possible things might spark an idea for someone in your life. I'm gonna run it through this list because I feel like this video is gonna be really long, but we have sweatshirts, gear or things for their hobbies, work boots. Someone is getting a hat from Art For All. Apparently it's a really cool outdoorsy artwork on a hat they love. Someone said this and I feel like this would be great for like, you know, like I feel like a lot of like men are into like their alcohol, their liquor of choice, you know? So someone said like a whiskey set that comes with glasses, tongs, ice cubes, etc. I feel like that's a really good idea, you know, for those super like manly men who like you have no idea what to get for them. I feel like that's a good gift. Also, this one, I love this idea. Cologne. It's simple, but also like it can be pricey and you get to pick what they smell like. So really like it's a win-win. I'm sure you guys have seen this around. Um, there is a glass like music frame where there are like Etsy shops and stuff where people will like print. I feel They like print a photo of like you and whoever you want onto like a piece of glass and then like make it look like the like music album around it, if that makes sense. Like like a Spotify 
play thing. Do you know what I mean? So like if you have like a song for like you and your significant other or something, I feel like that's so cute and like timeless. You could have it forever. Another thing which is actually a really great idea and are massage guns. If like they're into fitness or something, I feel like this would be really great for like your boyfriend, for your dad, if your brothers or whoever is into fitness. Um, and like who doesn't love a massage? So someone is getting a work wedding ring for her husband that won't break his finger if it's caught on anything, which is a fab idea. And I feel like the perfect time of year for that. Someone else said a watch holder, a Levi jean jacket. I feel like getting people really nice like pieces of clothing is a really great idea as well. So like a Levi jacket, a little bit more on the pricey side, but they're great quality and like you would literally have it forever. Such a great idea for a Christmas gift. Another thing I thought was actually really cool and like something my brothers would love, a 12 foot long indoor putting mat. I guess they have it on Amazon. Like I said, I'll try to link all of this down below for you guys, but I thought this was such a great idea for those that love golf. Obviously the winter time, you can't really get out there and do your putting. So I don't know, I feel like that's a really good idea. Another one that I thought was really cute was a portfolio with all of their work. So if your significant other is like a landscaper, an artist, or whatever, like where they put their all into their job, I feel like that would be really nice to get them a portfolio with all of their work. And then the last thing on the boyfriend list or significant other list, I guess this was more catered towards boyfriends. So I apologize, but I feel like a lot of the mom things maybe could go for girlfriends, so. This I think is so cute, a custom push pin map to mark your travel. So if you guys are really into traveling, you go a lot of places together, a push pin map where you can like put a push pin to all the places you've traveled. So then like, you know, you have a goal to like fill it all up. I just love that. Moving on to mom's list. This I feel like I have a lot for, but I always think it's so hard to shop for my mom. So I might have to take some things from this list this year. Personally, so mom, if you're watching this, you gotta go, sorry. Click off, thank you, love you, bye. One thing that I would really like to get for like my parents this year is like, um, is this air fryer little oven thing. We have this thing, we call it M Roland, so I'm blanking. It's by M Roland, like the chef. And it's like an air fryer, slow cooker, little oven thing all in one. It's phenomenal. We literally have not used our oven once and I don't know if we ever will. It is the best thing ever. I'm obsessed with it. And I know my parents and like brothers and everything would love to have one at home. So I really wanna get them one of those. I feel like it's really useful, you know, to get for someone that does love to cook or that doesn't love to cook, you know, it makes everything easier and you can do everything. Like I said, you can broil, slow cook, air fry, toast, like bake, literally everything with this thing. It's unreal, I'm obsessed. Another really cute idea is a self-care basket with some shower things, soaps, candles, slippers, face masks, all that kind of stuff. Something else that someone said was a favorite childhood movie and I think this is so cute. My mom is definitely like sentimental and like thoughtful in these sorts of ways and I feel like she always gets these types of gifts for other people. So I think that she would really like something like that. Another few things, we'll just run down the list. A new handbag, a blow dryer. I really, I meant to get my mom one last year and then Amazon literally sent me the wrong thing. I ordered her one of those like blowout brushes and they literally sent me siding hooks. I'm confused, but um, so I, I really wanna get her one of those. I feel like those are great. The like Dyson air wrap things are expensive, but like look so cool. Monogram sweatshirt, her favorite eyeshadow palette, some homemade beaded bracelets. You could do this for like your sister or best friend too. A Yeti cup for coffee. Again, you could get this for like your dad, your grandparents, whatever. A family photo session. I think that is such a cute idea, like paying for a service so you like, get all dressed up and like go as your family and like take pictures together. I think that's such a thoughtful gift. A plate that you painted when you were young. I think this is super cute and like all meaningful kind of like cherishable memories like this are really, really great gifts. A pizza oven, a robot vacuum, a Tiffany & Co ring, a customized blanket. Um, someone else said this, but actually my mom loves making these for people. They're fantastic. You can like put all of your favorite pictures on a blanket. You can make it say something, put it into a collage, etc. She wanted me to let you guys know that you can use collage.com and they make really great products. She also said that there's usually always a Groupon for it. So definitely get the Groupon. It saves 
saves you a ton of money by doing that. So definitely recommend. Someone said Rellery has really cute jewelry that you can customize. I love customized things. I think that that's so special. A custom photo collage puzzle. A personalized cutting board with your handwriting on it for a mom who loves to cook. I think that's also so cute. A personalized 2021 calendar with family pictures. I love that as well. Someone else said a calendar off Shutterfly. This I think is one of my favorite things. And like, I would love this for a gift. She's gonna home edit her mom's pantry. That is so cute, I love that idea. So she's gonna get like all the canisters, all the labels, all everything and like home edit her mom's pantry. That is so cute, she's gonna love that. A massage gift card, an Apple watch. Again, you could get this for like your siblings, your parents, whatever. Uh, jewelry and then clothes. So that's kind of like my mom list. I thought those were such cute ideas and I hope that that really helps you guys out. I only had a few things down for a sister, but um, some people sent in makeup, socks with their dog's face on it. I think that's so cute for like anyone that like absolutely adores their pet, which you know, is most people, so. A Grinch Build-A-Bear I thought was so cute. Like I said, I love personalized things or like things that... I just love gifts that show you put a lot of time and thought into the gift and like shows that like, you know, you really like appreciate the person or pay attention to like something that you thought they would really love. The next list I have is for dad. And again, the deep tissue massager with different heads, I think is such a fantastic idea. An LL Bean jacket if they spend a lot of time outside. I also feel like with that, like a nice new like snow shovel or like a snow blower or like something like that to help them with like work around the yard or the house or something, I feel like would be really nice. A jersey for their favorite player. A Yeti cup for coffee. My parents are literally obsessed with their Yeti cups. like they flip out if someone touches them or like moves them to a different spot. They're like, where did it go? Where is it? So they love them and are like weirdly attached to them. An indoor grill, I feel like this is a fantastic idea and something my dad would actually love. He literally grills steak for our dog every night. Every night. I'm not even, I'm not even kidding. The dog eats better than all of us. But I feel like that would be so nice because then he won't have to like go out into the cold during the winter to cook. So I feel like that's a really great idea. A heated vest or heated socks. Again, I feel like these are great for like, if they spend a lot of time outside or like are the ones to shovel your driveway, stuff like that. And then someone else said a man crate. I think I've heard of these before. Um, I think that they're just like customized boxes. Um, you can kind of like pick what you think would like go with each person and that kind of thing. I feel like that's a really great idea. And I only have a few for brother as well, but like um, someone said customized cornhole boards or like a box with board games and stuff. I feel like that's a really cute idea or like something for like their video games, like a new controller or equipment for like their sports or something like that. I don't know, my brothers have always been really hard to shop for. They love socks. Get them like a pack of Nike socks, I don't know. I have a little list for like grandparents, mother-in-law, and then I have an anyone list. So we'll start with grandparents. Some personalized coffee mugs. I love this idea. Um, we call one set of my grandparents Nanny and Papa, and it's so hard to find nanny and papa things. Everything is grandma and grandpa. So anytime I find like a personalized mug or anything for them, I get it um, immediately. They hate receiving gifts, but that's something that like they can use every day. It's tiny and like they think about us when they're having their morning coffee. Also a customized blanket. My mom is actually making one for my nana and papa for this Christmas. So I love that idea and I think that you know, grandparents are so sweet and so sentimental and so anything with like their family on it or something like that, I feel like they really appreciate, so. And I thought another cute one was a rocking chair. Someone's getting that for their grandparents. Then going on to like mother-in-law. For mother-in-law, I feel like that could be really hard to shop for, um, but I thought something that was really cute was like a care package, you know? You get a, like a blanket, a candle, a little spa set, like something like that. Or like if you have a photo all together, I feel like that would be really nice as well. Now we are going to run it through the anyone list. An ancestry kit, canvas pictures, a Swiffer wet jet. Someone was making fun of their sister for wanting these. I don't blame her. I love my Swiffer to death. <laughs> 
gift cards, candles, a heated blanket that plugs into your car charger outlet, or a regular heated blanket would be fab. I love myself a good heated blanket. A robot vacuum, which I already mentioned. Items from shopping small businesses. I think this is so cute and such a good idea, especially around the holiday time to support your local businesses. This was so cute. I've literally never heard of this before. A lot of love lottery ticket where the winnings go to charity. She said that would be a great thing for her mom and I think that's such a cute idea for like if you have that person in your life that doesn't like to receive a gift, um, their gift kind of like, you know, gets forwarded to a charity, which is awesome. Local diner gift certificates. Laneige Dream and Wonder gift set from Sephora. I love Laneige, everything they produce. Camping supplies. A Christmas movie night kit. I think this is so cute. You get like a blanket, a mug, hot cocoa mix, some candy. I also thought a good idea to throw in there might be like either some DVDs if you know they have a DVD player and want to do it old school or you could get like a Netflix or a Hulu gift card. If you throw in a gift card, they could pick whichever movie they want and like get a month free on you or something. Another one that's similar is a comfort basket, blanket, fuzzy socks, snack, face mask, slippers, I've kind of mentioned, but I just love those types of things. I feel like those are like my go-to gifts. I think that it's just so nice because I feel like those are things that you don't want to like necessarily buy for yourself, so it's nice to like get as a gift, if that makes sense. This one, I absolutely love this idea. Um, the Sephora Cologne or Perfume Sample Set that comes with a voucher for one full-size perfume or cologne. This is such a good idea if you guys haven't heard of this. They have a sample set where if you like, I don't know, there's a voucher somewhere inside of it and you can sample all of the little samples and then you just bring it in and get a full size one of whichever one you like. And it's such a good deal. Like you save so much because they're all like high end like designer perfumes and colognes. Such a good idea. A custom Yeti tumbler, I think that's really cute as well. An Amazon Alexa, if you don't have one, they're great. I feel like everyone I know that has one absolutely loves theirs. A Weston Willow pet portrait. Again, this is so cute for someone that just loves their pet. And a personalized picture frame. And so that is all I had on my list. I did ask my parents if they had any input for this video. And my dad's um, contribution was butt pads for um, sitting home so much through COVID. So um, if you wanna throw that in, I'm sure your parents would love that. Anyone at this rate would love that. So just kidding. But I hope that this was super helpful for you guys. Um, like I said, comment anything down below that I didn't mention. I feel like I kind of got like a wide-ish range. So hopefully there's an idea for someone on your buying list this year. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up for me. Also, if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I post a video. And also head on over to Instagram and follow me at I am Amanda Louise. I love you guys endlessly. Thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, stay blessed and don't forget to live lovely. Bye.